welcome to all of you in this lecture we would be talking about the insertion of a new node or an element at the end of the linked list fine now you should note that linked list is a, a dynamic list wherein you can add an element or delete an element from the list as and when it is required by making use of dynamic memory allocation and the, the function called as malloc as you have seen in the last lecture right it is easier to insert an element in the linked list okay as compared to array it is much more easier to insert or delete an element from a linked list fine in this lecture we would be talking about the logic of inserting a new element at the end of the list so for this let us assume that we have a linked list of three elements so let's have three elements fine now this is a linked list with three elements i would like to add a new element or new node at the end of the list right so in this linked list we are given a list with three elements and also a pointer to the first node the pointer called as head which is pointing to the first node of the list right now i would like to add an element at the end suppose i would like to add an element 7 for example i would like to add a new element 7 at the end so suppose i have a new element called as 7 okay which is pointing to nothing right now null I would like to add this to the list. So what I need to do is I need to create a link here and you create this link, right? For creating this link, I need a I need something that is pointing to the last node in the list, right? So what we do is we just have one pointer in this list, right? The pointer is head, right? One idea can be, you know, you can move head, keep on moving the head until you reach the last node, right? You keep on moving the head until you reach the last node, right? And then you can make this head point to the last node, right? Then you can easily create a link between the, the new node and the last node. So let it be a new node. But moving a head is not a good idea because head is a pointer which is always pointing to the first node in the list right therefore moving a head is not a good idea at all right so what we do instead is we create a new pointer which is pointing to the first node in the list right so we do we create a new pointer maybe call a stem and we make this head you know temp pointing to the first node right let's make temp pointing to the first node is pointing to the first node now, instead of moving head or advancing head to the last node we would be advancing the temp to the last node okay now how do you advance a temp to the last node it's very simple what you do is you just check whether the the link of the first node that is being pointed by temp is null it is not null so it is not the last node so move move on to the next node I move here right now this is not null right it has a link so this is not the last node so I need to move this further okay I move this further and I reach here right now the link of this node is null so this is the last node right so therefore I can you know advance temp in this way to reach the last node so this is your last node 
now temp is pointing to the last node of the current list right and head is always pointing to the first node fine now what you do is very simple you just create a link so link of temp should be equals to new so what you do is you link them together okay you link them together you just do this okay for doing this you have to write temp the link of temp would be new right now this is a new list wherein you have added a new element earlier there were three elements now we have four elements okay and still the head is the pointer to the first node in the list right this is how you can insert a new node at the end of the list okay let us revise the idea is very simple what you do is first you create a new node okay first you create a new node and then assign a value okay suppose how do you create a new node creating a new node is very simple okay so uh, you have to allocate the memory for memory of struct node size right using malloc right and that is point new is pointing to that particular uh, node right what you do is new data is 7 right and then the link of new is nothing but null right and this is how you create this node right I'm just creating this node Now you keep on advancing your head that is temp which is initialized here and the temp will be now pointing to the last node. Now what you do is you just create a link between the last node and the new node by doing this you create the link. Fine. Now this is the, the link list wherein you have added a new element 7. Fine. Now there may be one corner case right. One corner case in this situation is it may so happen that the list that is given to you is empty. Right? Now in this example, I've assumed that the list has has three elements. So this is how you insert the element in that case. But a corner case may be the case wherein the list itself is empty. Okay, in this in that case, how do you how do you insert an element? So whatever element you are inserting in that case is the first element. Now let's see how to take care of this corner case. Right? Okay. Suppose you are given a head. Right? Whenever the list is empty, your head, the head pointer will be pointing to null. So head will be having a null symbolic constant. Right? So if head is having null, that means that that means your link list is empty. Okay. So in this case, if whenever head is equals to null the list is empty right so the list is empty right now what do you do in this case you create a memory first of all and then head would be pointing to that node now what do you do is head is equals to struct node asterisk right then you give malloc size of struct node fine now you've created a memory wherein you have a data and a link 
right now head is pointing to that memory so head is now pointing to this one right now what do you do suppose you are inserting the first element in this case you are inserting the first element so suppose the element let it be 5 so what do you do head uh, data data of head is nothing but 5 5 and the link for the first node because this is the last node as well right it would be null so what you do is head of the link of head is null right this is what you do so first of all in this inserting element at the end in this function what you do is you compare if head is equals to null that means the list is empty right you allocate some memory to that head and then insert an element and then create its link as null so this is how you insert the first element so whenever the list is empty you are going to insert the first element in this way so this is the corner case which you should take care while inserting an element at the end of the list now in the next lecture we will be seeing the the algorithm for you know performing this operation that is inserting an element at the end of the link test okay thank you